Road raging idiots can happen when we have fender benders. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Houston, Texas. Henry Holsters is one of the few holster makers I trust to make a quality appendix carry holster that meets all the requirements of a holster. Check them out at a link in the description. Description in the original that I've linked in the description says the guy standing at the door of the car here has uh, had his car backed into by the truck here and so they had a minor fender bender. The guy said, oh, hey, man, you got to give me some money. And the guy in the truck's like, nah, man, let's take it to a shop. I'll have my insurance company pay for it. And that makes this guy angry. And so he gets in the guy's face and starts throwing punches and tells him he owes him some money. Again, all the guy said was, nope, let's just get the insurance companies involved. Take it to a shop and I'll fix your car. That really made him mad. So he opens the guy's door, pummels him multiple times here. He's going to beat him up pretty good and yell at him again. Can't really see from inside the tin on the windows is too dark but he's gonna actually reach into the guy's pocket grab his wallet and grab his cash yell at him some more gonna throw a couple of more punches at the guy because of course the guy's yelling at him doesn't want his wallet taken and those kinds of things and then our perp is gonna walk off and walk back into his car and drive off as far as i understand police have not found this guy they're still looking for him we get to think about some significant lessons we have some significant lessons out of this one we also have on our second channel active self-protection extra some tips on empty handed skills. So go over there, check the empty handed skills playlist. First things first, a commitment to de-escalation, escape and avoidance, incredibly important here. So, so again, he could just say, nah, man, call the insurance companies or whatever. I think again, having an understanding of emotional fitness, having an understanding of verbal judo. Hey, my friend, I get it that you're frustrated. That's your car. It's a nice car. I want to make your car right. I don't have any cash on me. Let me see what we can do to make your car right. Okay. And, and, and doing your best to mollify that. Practicing your verbal judo, very important. This is an important skill for all self-defenders. Now, he gets in his car, okay, fine. But recognize he is so close here, there's nothing he's gonna do to stop that. That guy has, has gone inside his reactionary gap. Well, of course, the answer here is, you don't have to leave your window all the way down. So his door's locked, that's great. But why is his window all the way down? You can roll your window down a quarter of an inch to hear through it, or you don't even have to roll your window down and the guy can talk to you through your glass. And that glass provides a barrier. If you leave your window down like this, you have removed this as a barrier. And again, the guy's inside his reactionary gap. He's not going to stop that. So you have to put a gap there. You have to put a barrier in place. Now notice as well, again, his door's locked, but that's only going to last for a little while. And I know some folks are going to ask, wait a minute, at this point, could I shoot this guy? Remember, we never ask the question, can I? We always ask the question, must I? Do I have to shoot this guy right now? Quite frankly, I think this is a much better place for something like an OC spray. So if you'd had your OC spray out and on you, this is the time to use it. It's actually a little bit late to use it. You know, I'd rather use it before the physical attack, but this is right now probably an ordinary threat and not a deadly threat. And therefore you're, you probably don't want to use a firearm unless you are a vulnerable person. You know, you know, you've got medical frailty or something like that. Those are rare cases. Instead here, again, this guy now has to fight and he has to fight from an enclosed and, and, and tight environment of the driver's seat of his car. This is not a skill set that most people have right here. And again, you're probably better off at this point to give the guy what he wants to get him away from you. Because if you try to draw a firearm here, he's going to take it away from you. If you try to get a tool like an OC spray at that point, he is going to take it away from you. So you've got to have a skill set if you're going to get into those kinds of encounters. Better off to use the door lock and the window up, in my opinion. Now then, this was pure social violence. He was mad about his car. People get incredibly attached to their car. So the big idea here is verbal judo, incredibly important skill. Understanding how to put barriers between you and potential harm, incredibly important skill. Having the appropriate tool for the appropriate problem, very helpful skill as you seek to cover your ASP. 